Hey everyone, this is the Vintage Sewing Machine Garage and I am getting ready to make yet another video of one of my restored vintage home sewing machines. This is the Singer Model 66 <clears throat> and it is the crinkle finish version. They made black lacquer with decals and then they made this uh, crinkle or not hammered, it's like a, they call it Godzilla finish today, but basically it was a sort of a low glare finish uh, for people who preferred that. And uh, the main difference between this and some of the others, I have 166 right now that's sort of like my own personal one, and it is a black side, and it has uh, some real collectability due to that, due to the year it was made. But most of these singers are not rare. In fact, you see them very often. What is rare is that this one will be put up on Craigslist, and it has gone through the same restoration process that all of my machines go through. This one I have upgraded with a heavier flywheel, as well as a motor that's about two and a half times more powerful than the standard. Now, for those of you who are just thinking about a vintage sewing machine, you don't have to have one that has been had its motor changed out. I still, my Singer 66, my own personal one, it has the original... 0.6 amp motor that came with it from Singer and it's a wonderful motor. It sews all kinds of heavy materials and I don't need anything more. But I created this for those of you who are, you're not quite ready for an industrial machine and you still want a domestic or home sewing machine, vintage all metal, but you need slightly more power than the average person. And they all the original stock version of this already has a ton of power. So again, I don't want any of you to think that, oh gosh, I've got to have one of these upgraded. I created these machines and I've had a lot of success finding customers for these, largely for people who do small upholstery projects. Maybe you're working with marine vinyl. Maybe you are going to sew um, a boat enclosure or you're working with Sumbrella garment leather sewers. This is an excellent machine for you. It has uh, it is a straight stitch machine, it has back tack, and it is very simple to thread um, and very simple to find parts for. Not that you're going to necessarily need any parts, but it's it's uh, one of my favorite machines to work on. And it's, uh, I call it the old iron sides of the, of the vintage world. So let's see, I'm going to start, I've already started doing some here. I've got webbing. Some of you who make upholstery, you make handbags, for example, this is a thick uh, webbing material. I think this is cotton. And uh, I've got three layers in here of it. Of course, I can go backwards and back tack. Get my tails cut here. I don't like to have my tails hanging in the way. Now you saw me speed up there, but I always tell people it's a really good idea not to sew too fast. When you're sewing heavy material, you really want to go slow because that needle needs time to do its work. You're asking a lot of the needle. I have a jeans needle, a heavy, large size jeans needle in here, which I always suggest to people. When you sew any kind of heavy material, you really, you really want to... Um, Use a jeans needle. You don't have to be sewing blue jeans or denim, although I'm going to do that in a moment. Any heavy material other than garment leather, because we, there are leather tip needles for that. But those jeans needles will really help you out, and they'll <clears throat> they will kind of save you from breaking needles quite as often. Now you're not going to be able to see the stitches very easily because this is a very textured webbing material, but you can see how tightly. And securely, it's you know it's 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 done its job, and that's that's incredible. Most new machines won't even touch that, sadly. Oh, let's see. I'm going to now sew some denim. I've got blue jean denim. I've got two layers. You can see I've been using these in the past to do some testing on. I've got another two. So let's see what the machine is willing to do for us here. And of course, I've got rolled seams in both of these, right? So this machine is being asked to do quite a bit for us. And, and then I'll put a fifth layer on top so we can kind of see our stitches. The darker of the, the, the uh, this darker of the denim will be a little easier to see our white thread on. And if I can get it under the foot and still have room for the machine to do its job, 
it should sew for me. Remember, you even with a powerful motor, the machine still has to have room under the foot to get sewing accomplished. So I'm going to start with my needle down. Let's we'll see what she does. Okay, guys, I'm making my first run here. Of course, I can back tack. Back tack is not the same as full reverse. Most sewing machines from the vintage era do not allow you to just do full sewing in reverse. I'm not sure why anyone would. A few of the later machines allowed that, but it's not. The main thing you want to do is lock your stitches in, and that's the main reason you would have that. Now, I can move this machine faster, but again, even with a jeans needle, you want to take your time when you're sewing over anything dense or thick because you can break a needle. And I'm going to turn around here and I'm going to make a slightly shorter seam so you guys can see. You can get a short seam. Not, I'm not sure some of you who sew knits might want that. So let's take a look. And now you'll see there's really nice seams. This was one of the first sewing machines that Singer ever created that had a reputation for really good straight seams. These of course are called straight lock stitch. That's what the straight seam or the straight stitch is called. It's called the lock stitch. Notice how it goes over the denim folds and it does not lose its tension. That's one of the hallmarks of an, a really awesome sewing machine and any good machine should be able to do that. Let's come over on the other side. And again, we have balanced, we have balanced seams. Uh, many of you will not need the machine to go that, to that level of density. Again, you can sew synthetics. I think I'm showing cotton material here. But again, this, when you guys see machines that are posted on places like eBay, and you see videos on YouTube, and people call them industrial, they are not. And sometimes they'll call them industrial strength, and they are not. They were not... Um, used in factories. Now they were sometimes used in tailor shops, but <clears throat> what they are is they are, you could call them industrial quality, okay? The quality of the manufacturer, manufacturing of these machines was just incredible. And no one makes home machines like this to this level of quality anymore. It would cost thousands of dollars to create just a straight stitch machine like this with no other features, just straight stitch and back tack it would cost thousands to make it to this level of quality and they just don't do it anymore. So, but if you're looking for a, a, a home machine that you can control really easily and industrials are not easily to, not as easy to control, uh, you really should consider one of these. And if you've got heavy materials, you can sew with a home vintage sewing machine, particularly one that was made uh, with all metal construction. So if you look at the photos, you'll see the photos of all the work I did to uh, overhaul the machine. Again, I have uh, uh, basically upgraded it, if you will. Uh, again, my own personal machine is not upgraded. I don't really need that, <clears throat> but some of my customers do when they want to sew things like umbrella material and uh, marine grade um, fabrics. So again, the motor is about two and a half times uh, stronger than the original, and I have a very heavy hand flywheel on this machine. So. Uh, it is ready for heavy-duty stuff. So if you guys see the posting on Craigslist, please uh, contact me. Be glad to set up a time for you to come and see the machine. And um, you can do some test stitching on it. If you are new to sewing machines, I will demonstrate it for you and teach you how to use it. And if you are a seasoned sewer, you can bring, like I say, bring your own material. Uh, or I have some here, and I'd be happy to show it to you. Thank you.